the issue of the civil rights movement and the way that black people around the world are treated, particularly, I suppose, in, around the world. Around I mean, the world. Around right. the world. You know, look at you know places like Russia. It's you know it's around the world. So, is this is this a, a, I suppose from a movie point of view, from what you what the, what what the movie and the messages within the movie hold, and and the other movies we were discussing and Scotch Broys, are the are these historical comments or are we still looking at a contemporary issue? Good question. Well phrased. <laughs> Good job. Um, it would be foolish to not recognize that we have evolved and that we're not still facing the same kind of terrorism um, against black people en masse um, as, as, as was displayed with the Scottsboro Boys. It's, it's, it's gotten better. Are there still places where people are terrorized because of the color of their skin, because of the, the, the color of their black skin? Yes. But there are laws that have allowed us to progress beyond what we saw in the Scottsboro Boys and beyond the even prejudice that we see in the butler. I mean, his ability to go in, one of my favorite scenes ever, spoiler alert, uh, is him going in and asking for the raise. That's one of my favorite. I mean, I think that's one of the finest acting jobs I've ever seen. You know that moment? Of course. Yeah. So problem, are you saying problem solved? I'm saying problem not solved. I'm saying that, you know, that's the beauty of a film like The Butler, and it's the beauty of a film like uh, 12 Years a Slave, and it's the beauty of what we're seeing, uh, you know, on stage with Scottsboro Boys, is that it allows people to see where the root of the problem started. It allows people to see, oh, that's where it all started. This is how far we've come, and now this is how much farther we need to go. Of course, the problem is not solved. You know, as long as people can be judged by the, by the color of their skin, the problem's not solved. As long as there are people who still, and there's a whole generation, I say this, you know, I said this, you know, for apartheid uh, South Africa, I said this for my own, you know, community in the South, there are still generations of people, older people, who were born and bred and marinated in it, in that prejudice and racism, and they just have to die. So bring it back to the themes of the movie. Do you think there's, has it ever crossed your mind that some of the treatments of Obama uh, and the challenges he's faced and some of the reporting he's received is because he's an African-American and if he wasn't an African-American, if he was a white guy, those wouldn't have happened. He wouldn't have been treated in quite the same way. He wouldn't have to deal with quite the same confrontations. Has it ever crossed my mind? It's crossed my mind of probably as many times as it's crossed your mind. Probably it's crossed my mind more times than it's crossed your mind. Just the level of disrespect when the senator yelled out, you're a liar. Remember that? Um, yeah, I think that there's a level of disrespect for the office that occurs. And that occurs in some cases and maybe even many cases because he's African-American.